this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and my project today is a cute Christmas critter card <laughs> using the Greeting Farms Oh What Fun stamp set that you see there on the left. Super cute little foxes. So I'm stamping them in VersaFine Onyx Black Ink onto some Bristol Smooth cardstock. I'm going to be coloring with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers, and I pretty much only use Bristol Smooth cardstock for that anymore. Now, as a lot of my colored cards go, there is a fair amount of coloring on this, but I'm going to feature basically just the foxes because I pretty much use the same technique to color everything, and I just love the way the foxes came out. So to start off with, I am coloring my lightest shade, which is 23 Scarlet Red, which is actually really more of an, an orange, orange red, reddish orange, <laughs> if you will. So I'm going to uh, kind of base coat them mostly and then I'm going to add 22 Carmine Red which is basically like a shade darker than the Scarlet Red like more it's a more red red if that makes sense um, and so I'm just adding shading as if they were kind of lit from the front um, so down the sides of where the fur meets the red fur meets the white fur and like behind the their bodies on their tail um, and under the coat on their legs. And then I'm going to blend it again with the 23 Scarlet Red. And it was at this point that they just seemed too bright and too, a little bit too orange. So I decided to add a darker shade, which is 24 Wine Red. And so you can see I'm just adding a little bit here or there, like along their snouts, behind their bodies, under their coats. And then I will blend that back with the 22 Carmine Red, which was like the middle shade. And then I will blend the, all of that back again with the 23 Scarlet Red. And that produces the color I was really going for on the foxes. So it makes them more red than orange. Now on his coat, I'm starting off with 36 light blue and then I'll add 31 cobalt blue for shading and then blend back with the 36. And then on his scarf, it's, I start off with 41 light green and then add 47 may green for shading and then blend back a little with the 41 light green. On her coat, I'm gonna start off with 81 light violet, but that seems too dark. So I go to 83 lilac and then I will add shading with the 81 light violet. And this is pretty much how I, how I color most things with zigs, two to three shades. Um, just adding light, then adding the shadow, and then blending down with the lighter shade. So this was uh, 28 pale pink and then 26 light pink for shadow, and then blending back with the 28 pale pink. Later, I'm gonna add 25 pink to this and really like make that a much brighter pink gloves and scarf to go with the hat that I'm gonna color that goes on her but you won't see me do that, unfortunately. Now here I've got 91 light gray, so I'm adding a tiny bit of shading like right along their snouts, and then I'm making like little hash marks for fur, basically the fur effect on the white sections um, of their faces and their tails. And initially I was a little worried this looked kind of dark, but in the end, I really love it. I think it's a really, really cute little detail and you'll get a good look at that. Um, in one of the end photos of the project, but I thought I really liked that effect. Now for my light strands, I've colored everything else with my zigs and my light strands, I'm using my Spectrum Noir colored sparkle markers. So this is Cosmos and then this is Moonlight. So it's kind of going for like purple, pink, turquoise and yellow for these light strands to kind of go with the colors I had already used in the rest of the of the characters um, that you haven't seen quite yet, but you will in the end. And then this is Rose Quartz, which is a super, super pale pink. So I will actually go over that with Amethyst to have a much more vibrant purple in the end because the purples on this are just more uh, bright than what that sort of pale purple was initially. And then the, that Rose Quartz is just too pale a pink. Now I did restamp my tree with Gina K Designs grass green ink. And so now I'm going to do the pot starting with 31 or 36 light blue and then adding some shading with 32 
or 30 blue, 32 Persian blue. And then I'm gonna blend with the 36 blue and that just seems too light. So then I'm gonna add like 30 blue, which is a much darker blue, and then blend again to just sort of darken it down. I wasn't going for like aqua on this so much as I was going for like a cobalty blue. And so that's what helped bringing that like slightly darker shades, made it a little more cobalt blue. And then I went over the trunk and branches of my tree, went over the green, because the green branches didn't make sense, with my 65 mid brown, just to turn them brown. Because, you know, I wanted to have green, green pine needles with brown branches. And then I added a little bit of 47 may green to the pine needles, but not much. Now, all of my ingredients are <laughs> um, the oval piece is cut from the Elizabeth Craft Design Stitched Ovals die set. It's the second largest oval, and that is cut from Gina K Design's powder blue cardstock. I have a white A2 size side folding base there, and then I have stamped two more uh, light strands and then cut off the ends and glued them together to create that one long strand with my Zig to a glue pen. And then this is Nina Solar White cardstock that I've cut um, some snowy hillsides out using the Lawn Fawn stitched hillsides dies, hillside border dies. My little critters there have all been cut out with my anniversary present from my husband, which is my, um, which is a brother scan and cut too. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Um, and that works like a charm. And you may notice that I have adhered uh, some of the accessories onto each of them. Um, like the antlers are on the one fox, there's an ornament in the other fox's hand, and then the hat is on the girl fox, and I've added a little ornament and heart to the tree. I did all that with Zig. And I've heared my, my snowflake down, or snow snowy hillside down with my ATG gun, and now I'm using my Zig to adhere down my like sort of fancy light border, and I'm going to add a couple hearts into the corners to just, I don't know, give that a little festive touch near the top. And then I'll ATG gun down my f other hillside and just trim off the excess. And now I'm going to just try to get my foxes in place where I want them in the scene. And then I'm going to add some shading because I don't, I don't want them to look like they're just floating on those hills. I want them to look a little bit grounded. So I grabbed my 91 light gray zig marker and I just basically scribble like a little bit of a shadow under all the foxes and the tree just to give them like a little bit of shading you know as if they were actually standing on a snowy hillside. Now I have glued them all down with zig and now I'm taking my clear sparkle marker from Spectrum Noir and I'm adding sh uh, sparkle to the front snowbank to separate it from the back two and then I'm gonna add just a touch of sparkle along the stitched edges of the other two hillsides. For some, uh, you know, gotta have glitter. And then I added uh, snow to the sky with my white glaze pen. And then I touched up a couple areas on my fox and the snowbank that were like, had little red marks with that. And I added additional sparkle to the hearts. And there you can see the purple lights on the, on the light strand now. And a good look there at the foxes and their, their cute little fur. Hope you like it. I was really happy with how it turned out. Um, those stamps are super cute. Like the greeting farm designs are just so adorable. So I hope I've given you a little fun Christmassy critter inspiration today. Supplies are linked in the video description and over on my blog as always. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would really love it if you would subscribe. Here are two more videos I have done on Christmas projects in the past, so you can check those out if you like. Thanks so much. Have an amazing day.